I've gotten way more questions than I thought I actually would about this kayak. And I'd planned to do a, a full video of like showing how I got it and going over it. I've already been able to take this kayak out in four or five different rivers and different situations, lakes, rivers, uh, small water, a little bit bigger water, different stuff where I feel like I got a good feel for it. And I know a lot of people are gonna be interested in it because they might, you might be wanting to get one of these or you might be wondering why did I get a third kayak and do I really need this kayak? So I'm gonna try to cover the whole kayak, why I got it, what I like about it and what it's gonna be able to uh, let me do. As far as me, I love creek fishing, small rivers and bodies. I plan to kayak a lot more. I want to be able to get into small waters. I want to be able to get into small bodies of waters, but also have a, a kayak that I'm comfortable in. So there's a up and down and I kind of, I'll try to go through all that today. So we'll cover like a few sections one at a time and uh, I'll explain the reason why, how this all came to be and uh, why I really like this kayak. So how I got this kayak and how I was able to choose it is kind of the first thing because that kind of lays the groundwork for the rest of it. So real quick, I've been looking for a dedicated creek kayak, a river, small river creek kayak. Now over here is the Hawassi River and that's a, this up here is really big part and that's where I'll take a pedal drive. I can still use this fine. Since I already had two pedal drives, the two old towns, I wanted a kayak that's lighter weight, more nimble and will fit the kind of idea that I have for really small skinny waters where I'm gonna get out and drag my kayak sometimes. I'm gonna float through real shallow water. There's gonna be rapids, there's gonna be current I need to handle. And I wanted a kayak and I originally wanted one. I was like, I want a really, really light kayak. And I was thinking like 60 pounds. I'm like, I need something really light where I can, I wanna be able to get this in out of tight places, um, carry it in and out of, you know, off, off hillsides or bridges or, you know, just kind of drop it off a cliff, you know, not drop it off, but, you know, put it in somewhere, but somewhere where I could always drag it back out of, be rough on it and very basic. I want everything kind of ready to go fishing wise, very basic. So while I was thinking about this and have been kind of researching, I got approached from Frontier Outdoors in Kingston, Tennessee. And uh, Brant, the owner said, hey, would you like a kayak to, you know, to do some stuff? So, um, and this was like the perfect opportunity. So I told him like what I had wanted and what I wanted to do. And he's like, all right, I'm on board. Come up and pick out a kayak. And um, dude, I was so excited. I, I looked up some more stuff, did some more research, and I had no idea which kayak I was gonna choose. I go up there, he's got a great showroom. We look around, I, I look around for an hour and I can't decide. I'm like, I don't know which one because there's, there's, a, there's a lot. And then this Sholey had just came out and it is a river fishing kayak. I think they're like $1,600 and I was trying to go within a thousand. Now, I, I wasn't restricted by money, but I just, I kind of thought maybe I could find one for a thousand. That'd be a great fishing kayak. I look and look and look and I come back and I go back. I said, all right, I'll come back in like a, a few weeks and we'll make a decision. I go back up there, look some more, talk about it. And we came to the conclusion and he was on board like, this is a kayak you need. After looking through several other ones, there is some, there's a lot that are cheaper. And like I said, this is a little bit higher end and a little more expensive, but everything that it has was like already set up for exactly what I want to do. It weighs, I think, 77 pounds. It's still stable. I can stand out of it. I'll explain, I'll go over the detail how, what I feel about it, but 77 pounds for a kayak is actually not that uh, heavy compared, if you if you really look around and look at good kayaks and want a good quality, that's, that's pretty lightweight. And I'm 6'4", 225, something like that. I need a bigger kayak. I can't get away with some of these smaller kayaks. I wanted one under 12 foot. This is 11.8. I wanted it under 80 pounds. That was kind of what I came up with in that 70 pounds. And this was 77. Of course, a comfortable seat. This is made for those kind of rapids and uh, be able to handle in current. And you know, it has all the accessories. It's built for fishing. It's built, it's got a lot of things already onto it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna go with that. That's, that's the kayak eye. Everything else I've looked at that we had to look at, that's the one I want. All right, so let's go over the kayak. My first impressions. First time I get it, um, I didn't. I don't get to take it out for like a yeah, month, I think. I just sitting at the house because it's dead winter. I can't go anywhere really. So I go to Florida and I take it in some, it's a skinnier river, it's got some shallow spots, it's got some current to it. First thing I noticed, the, the very first thing I've noticed about how this kayak operates is how nimble it is. When I do like one stroke of a paddle, it moves and it responds and it, I can maneuver it 
we're going down some little rapids. I turn around, I go back upstream, go through some current, rolls right over the rocks or little like eddies and stuff like that. That's the first thing I'm like, this, this thing is very nimble and I like the way it feels. Standing up and fishing out of it, I didn't do that much because most, most places where I'm gonna take this is gonna be current or there's gonna be like overhang. So I'm not too worried about standing up fishing where I could do it. It is a little shaky compared to my big old town. So that one's made to be a lot more stable. I can stand right up, but I have no problem standing with this. And if I want to make some casts, um, I'm not, I think I'm a little too tall to do some of the stuff that's in here. And that's just being bigger. If you were shorter, you get away with a lot more, but I, there's no way I'm like worried about tipping or worried about like, it's too, you know, it's too much to worry about. So once I get in it, so every time I get in my old old town and then I get back in this one, I gotta like, all right, let me let me get my balance back and then I'm good. It's a it's a diff, it's just a different feel to it. I'm not gonna go through all the little things. I'm just giving you how I feel and what I uh, take away from it as a uh, actual using it. So actually using it for, I've been out in it 10, 12 hours out in the kayak now, probably more than that of total time. Like I said, it was nimble, but when I took it down current and like fast current, any other kayak I've gone, I went to a river where I've, I've taken five different kayaks down that river. This is the first kayak that I've taken down it where I wasn't controlled by the current, I could control myself. So the current on these little sweep throughs and like fast little places, if you have a big kayak or just different kayaks, I'm not sure how they're built, you know, what makes them the way they are, but I know that what I feel and using it, all my other kayaks would get caught in that current and it'd be hard to paddle it out of that current. I'm like trying to get on the outside so I don't get you know, uh, pushed into a tree or overhang. This kayak, I can move around in that current. I can, it was, it was crazy like the difference. I, that, I, that was very um, enjoyable I'd say because I'm not so worried about whenever I see like some rapids, some currents coming up, I'm not so worried about being caught in that current um, where I can still maneuver this thing around. Um, I spun it around. Whenever I spin around in current and I want to maybe go back upstream, a couple couple uh, paddles and it just sits on the current instead of just getting swept away. I can paddle, paddle, and I'm just sitting on the current kind of going forward even though the water's flowing like to me. Uh, I've done that several times and that's, that's really enjoyable, really fun, makes fishing and handling out of it so much easier. So I've been able to land a bunch of fish and catch a bunch of fish out of this, even caught a muskie and landed it. And I'm leaning over, you know, and I net it, trying to handle this musket. And I never thought, oh, I'm gonna tip over. I, I, it was never a concern. So even handling a big fish like that, picking it up in there, I wasn't too concerned about like, I wasn't nervous or feel, felt awkward. So I felt very under control. So let's just give you a walkthrough because, and I'll show you all the things it has, but the main thing is everybody's like, how did you like the kayak? And I would say, I love it for the kind of fishing I want to do. So is it the best River Creek kayak out there? No, because I think the next year somebody's gonna make a better one. The next year somebody's gonna make a better one. They're gonna keep improving this style and keep doing this. But is this the best one I have? And it's the best one I've been on as far as do what I want to do. If I want to step out of it and drag it upstream, it pulls very easily against the current. It's not pulling me back. If I want to take it down skinny waters, I want to take it down big waters. I'm under control, I'm confident, and I'm relaxed. I can sit in the seat all day. That's a big thing. I can stand up out of it. There's room. I can lay my rods down in front of me. Um, and usually I don't have any rods sticking up when I'm fishing these little rivers. So I have everything down in front of me and I'll just get out there and I have fun. That's the main thing I wanted to kayak to make river and creek fishing accessible. When I, there's some little creeks that I'm gonna do this spring. Maybe I'm only gonna do three miles, but I don't know if there's log jams. I don't know if I can get through it. I might have to walk half of it. I'm gonna drop this thing in. No worries, we're going and we're gonna go through here. And I don't have to worry about having this giant kayak or something really hard to manage. Also, when I sit in it for hours, I'm not worried about being uncomfortable or having a small kayak that I'm worried about tipping over. So, so far, this has really been checking all the boxes for me for that creek river kayak that I wanna go out, have fun, explore, get it in places, get it out of places, keep it simple. So right now I don't hardly have any accessories on it. Let's go over the kayak and I'll show, show you what I like, what I don't like, and just the different things it has. First off the front hatch, I really like that uh, hatch like it is. So you can open it up. I can put my anchor in there. I haven't mounted the anchor wizard yet, but I'm gonna mount that. I need to get a piece for that. 
So also in the front hatch, there was advertised for rod mounts and um, you gotta be careful on that one. That one needs a little work. So the holes are very small. You can't fit spinning rods. So if you wanna put spinning rods in there to store them, they won't work because the eyes are too big. You can fit a casting rod if it's a limber rod. If it's a stiff rod, you really can't fit it in there. So it won't take much. I think you can just cut those eyes open more and there's a lot of options you can do. So I expect them to do a lot of changes the next model that comes out on this, but there's a lot you can do with that. That's a good idea to store away a couple of rods, say, or like say you're camping or something like that. You can just kind of keep an extra rod in there. Um, I don't like the way the tracks are in the front. That's where I put my front camera. It's a little far front for an anchor wizard. For me, I feel like, but I have done it. Um, also, it, it comes with uh, mounts for the anchor wizard on the back, but I'm not going to do one on the back. I'm going to do one off the front. The front um, handle has a track mount, which is really cool. It's got a strap. I'm probably going to upgrade that strap to like a thicker, like a thicker rope. Um, so whenever I'm like, say the kayak's behind me and I want to grab the strap and I'm pulling it upstream, a lot of times I'll take a rope and like loop it around me like a backpack and I, or, or a thicker rub that way you can grab. I think it'll just be a little bit, that's that's definitely, I already have one and I'm probably gonna get a different one. That's definitely an upgrade I'm gonna have just to be able to carry it in and out of places or drag it up hills when you're dragging it up after you maybe got a hard access to get out of. Uh, you want a thicker rope to hook to the front, but it comes with a, uh, a strap already if you don't have one with you. The seat has a high and low position. The floor is very comfortable and it's got, it's grippy. Um, it's got a place for your catch board and that's a big thing about it. So you can lay the catch board there Let me show you one thing. I don't like about the catch board being there Let's see if I can show you this. So I'm, I'm out here fishing. I catch a fish and most of the time We're going through places where I gotta have all my rods down So say I'm taking two or three rods with me and when I'm taking this kayak I'm probably not taking more than three rods if I take four it'd be amazing, but usually Two or three rods, but look at this. So this is the only part that's a little bit aggravating. So I wanna get the fish on the board and get it measured. Well, first off, I gotta cross my legs. Let me move these rods out of the way. And then I can get to it and take the picture. You know, I'll hold my phone over it and take a picture on the board. So that is something to think about, or maybe you might wanna do it like that to kinda of have the fish at an angle. But the catch board being there is nice to have it right there and it's out of the way. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it when I stand up. It's not my standing spot. The way it's got these tracks, you can lay your rods right here and they kind of sit right there. Uh, that spot up there is for a paddle if you want it. It's got handles on the front. It's got handles on the side. I like that. It's got these back rod mounts that I haven't used yet. So these two rod mounts in the back here, you can put two rods and have them pointing out instead of up. It's a great idea. I haven't used them yet because most of the time, I, like I said, I'm only going to take two or three rods and I'm just going to lay them in front of me. Um, and then, you know, sometimes when you're spinning around, you don't want to get caught, but that's a good idea. And it's, it's a nice to be able to have those rods down where if you are going down places and you have your rod store there, you don't have to, if a tree comes up, you don't have to worry about hitting it or grabbing it. I've just been using a milk crate in the back uh, because I want to keep everything on this kayak very simple. And I got a PVC pipe that comes out for the back um, camera mount where that, that normally uses. So that camera mount's kind of out of the way. Um, you can wear one when you're sitting, but I like to wear one in the back just the way it's not in my way. It's always taking a view. Sometimes it blocks out some of the stuff, but most of the times you can see a lot of things going on. You can kind of see the nature. You can see uh, different things happening. And um, I like the view. And then I have a uh, mount in the front that I can pop up and show when I have a fish. I just strapped the crate down with a bungee and maybe I have a bag or a couple of lures, but once again, I'll repeat, when I'm using this kayak, I'm downsizing. Now, if you want to take this kayak out on a lake for a tournament, you want to put all your stuff in there. But majority of the time that I'm going to use this kayak is like I said, in flowing water, places I'm dragging it to. I'm not traditionally using it at boat, regular boat ramps or different things like that. So I want to keep everything simple. Not going to take a ton of lures, not going to take a ton of gear. Um, but it also has a back hatch where you can throw a dry bag or some stuff like that in there. And that's my uh, review of the Crescent Sholey SF. I think it's specialized fishing uh, that I got from Frontier Outdoors. And um, I am excited. I Sometimes when you, you, even if I get it for free or I have to pay for something, like you want to make the choice that you're like, oh, I hope I don't regret this choice. So I took my time thinking about it. 
I chose this one and I'm glad I chose it. I think me and this kayak are gonna go on a lot of adventures and a lot of time, a lot of stuff, I'm just kind of waiting for it to be warm, warm up. I was actually gonna take it out today in this cold weather, but we had rain all night and the area I was gonna take it out is chocolate milk. So that's not gonna work out. Thanks for watching. This wasn't a normal uh, video for sure. And I wasn't even sh sure if I wanted to do a full review, but this is so much in line with the type of fishing that I like to do. And the most people that are watching this video, it's the type of fishing you wanna do. And I know it's an expensive kayak, but some of y'all out there are, are probably gonna end up getting this kayak. And I think you'll really enjoy it. Hopefully this video helps you out. Is this the only river kayak out there? No, they've actually have a couple new ones been coming out. Do I wanna try them? Well, of course I do. I wanna try everything. If it has to do with creek and like small river fishing, I'm all about that. Do I wanna try a brand new boat? Probably not. Like there, we, I went and looked at a bunch of boats here to show the day. I'm like, I don't care about these boats. I'd rather have 10 kayaks because I can get to the little spots I want to do. That's the kind of fishing I like to do. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps make up your decision if you're going to buy a kayak or not buy a kayak or just maybe something in the future, uh, what you like to do. So I'm glad I got it. And I know that will be a lot of fish caught out of it. And I'm going to take it into as many sketchy places as I can get it. And that's my plan for the summer.